Now, it is important for us to get reaction here uh, from people in the community because that is going to be a big part of how Americans treat this moment moving forward. Our Aaron Thomas is live in Holly Springs with how people there are reacting to this news. Aaron. Yeah, Dan, so we've been to a variety of parks. We've been to a park in Raleigh, and now we're here in Holly Springs getting some mixed reactions. Some people, they are being honest with us that they're exhausted with this ongoing political season. Others were pretty surprised when we shared with them that the former president has been convicted on those 34 accounts, some of them finding out for it the first time. Now, one man who just finished up a bike ride, he's actually here still on scene. He shared how he thinks the former president will get off with a appeals ruling, but others criticize how a convicted felon cannot vote in this election, but can still manage to run for president. Then I just finished speaking with uh, one gentleman named uh, Davin Daughtry, who lives here in Holly Springs. Uh, he shares how the criminal record holds no bearing and how he would vote in the general election. When people get a criminal record and, you know, you get caught in the system or whatever happens, they feel like their life is over. So that, that just shows this opportunity that you're able to still run and do something big as that. His, uh, that perspective you see there just kind of shows you how with the former President Trump having a criminal record now, some people feel like that could be used against him and them not wanting to vote for him. For others could see him as a martyr of sorts and would actually support him in that regard. Of course, North Carolina is a swing state, so all eyes are on, are on how voters here will be voting come November.